what's up with everyone recently i've been listening to the new drake album but that jimmy cooks record especially kind of wanted to make a loop in that style of like that takey dark south side type of vibe you know what i'm saying we're going to be using the analog lab bank and portal bank from the experiment club kit let's get straight into it i'm gonna jump into analog lab i found this sound from the experiment club bank i'm gonna go through some of my midis and i'm gonna just drag some in obviously the cpu is going crazy right now I ain't no hope for that shit i'm not gonna lie i don't even like the sound anyway so let's find another sound this is hard right here so now i'm going to be consolidating this track that way the cpu is lower then go ahead and add effects and do all that to it let's go through some portal presets and let's open the experiment club portal bank and let's see what we can find Next thing I'm gonna add is EFX Fragments. It's by Arturia. It's kind of like a portal, but it's like their own. Oof. I'm gonna re-render this again one more time. Fragments seems to be heavy on my CPU. I don't know why. Now that I like it at that pitch, I'm gonna click Make Unique first. When I click Make Unique, if your mode is on stretch, you wanna turn the mode onto auto. Now, once it's on auto, I'm gonna click Make Unique as Sample. And then once I do that, I'm just gonna turn this knob down a semitone and it's automatically gonna to go down one semitone no matter where it was before. So it's gonna sound like this. gonna do the same thing render this out now i'm gonna add some more eq in. there's this plugin called reactor it's a paid plugin once you get the plugin you go on native instruments website they have a bunch of people on the community who will literally just post free plugins and you can just download them and they're free to use and stuff so yeah death piano it's literally the best sounding piano for dark melodies in my opinion So I'm going on this piano real quick and I'm adding some EQs and reverbs. I'm also gonna put some halftime on this piano, but I'm gonna lower the mix a lot. I'm gonna add another contact instance and I'm going to pull up the new wire piano. I'm gonna add the pure version just so I can get a bass piano going. So this is the root note, I find the root note and then boom, I'm gonna click control, arrow key down until I get to where I want to, which would be around right here. I'm gonna add SRX strings. This is like a rolling string synth type of plugin. Really fire, and I'm gonna manipulate it once I get the pattern in. Usually what I do when I get a string melody is I'll just put it on stretch and pitch it down a semitone because it just sounds more realistic. So we gonna try that. Yeah, and it does. So another thing I like to do while making loops and I'm like just trying to figure out what else I should add, and I'll add this plugin called Pitch Wheel. It's a pitch shifter that you could just do on an audio track. It's just easier because if I put this on the master and I click the range and I put it to 24, I can just pitch it up as much as I want up to an octave up and down, anytime, anywhere, like on the whole master. So I'll just go ahead and pitch it up. I'm gonna go ahead and make another unique string pattern. I'm gonna time stretch this. I'm gonna open up Analog Lab and I'm gonna add like a bell, just something ambient that could be in the background kind of. Yeah, that's fire. So now that I got my sections that I like for the loop, I'm gonna go ahead and stem out the loop. And this is something that I see some people don't do at all. And I think 
it hurts people a lot when they're sending out loops to other producers because if i'm a drummer and i'm about to add drums to it and there's one thing i don't like about the loop and i can't get it out the loop it's it might piss that person off to the point where they might not even use the loop so all you got to do is just stem out every every layer of your loop at the end of the loop or you can send them the whole file but i think as far as sending out it just makes it easier if you just have it all stemmed out in that loop that way they can cut it up and arrange it how they want it you know what i'm saying so all right so now that i rendered out the loop i'm going to mess with the pitch see what i like i think this would sound a little harder sped up too So I'm going to drag the loop we just cooked up and I'm gonna add some drums. When I'm making a loop, I'll go ahead and just add drums to the loop to see if, there, if, I'm, doing, if I'm doing too much on the loop. So by you having enough room on the loop allows the whole track to just build up, you know what I'm saying? So. 